Hey guys, this is Heretic, and this is the Gollum video for Sunday, May 23rd, 2021. And in this video, I am going to compare the uh, Guinevere and Mordred combo versus the uh, Dendrain and Brutus that I'd always used in the past. Okay, these new um, heroes have been out now for mm, about a month or so. Um, and I th a little bit more, probably, what, five, six weeks now. Um, and it, it's a good time to go ahead and, and take a look and see how they compare against Dendrain and Brutus. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The, the first thing, obviously, we're going to have to do our basics, right? So we want to have our city buffs on. Specifically, you want the attack, your best attack and your best uh, march capacity enabled you want to make sure that you have your um, accolades on and i don't so here i can unlock them go across here just takes a second okay that's all i need there these are the ones again that you get in the in the labs. Right. Go ahead. I don't want to set that one. It did, this doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the Bowman damage here. Um, on my war tomes, I want to update those. I want to reset them. Oops. And I want to make them um, mostly bow and uh, calf. And I'm going to go ahead and um, speed this up. Okay, before I actually get started with Gollum, I'm going to go get kind of a baseline of my, my stats. So this is with, um, uh, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. First, I want to start off with the, the first matchup that I'm actually going to do is the new um, heroes, the Mordred and Guinevere. And they are heavy calf. Their bonuses give a lot of attack to calf so I'm going to put more calf than I normally would and this will go for my actual probably not that much there and this will actually go for my um, my golem as well I think I'll focus a little bit more on calf than I normally would in the past um, so let's see how those stats look all right, so 14.5 uh, calf and 11.6 bow. This is where I th why I think that I should probably focus a little bit more on on calf attack than on my bow when I'm with those um, heroes. And if I'm using my um, my normal attack. which would be Dendrain and Brutus, which I've always used in the past. I'll go heavy bow and I'll redo my um, tomes to for that as well. So if you saw me do the tomes and they're very it's it's cav heavy or you know it's it's a better mix than I would have normally done, which would have been put most of it in bow. So when I'm when I'm rolling with my normal attack um, golem um, heroes, my stats for Cav are down a lot, and my bow is you know what we saw before. So okay. So now let's set my marches really quick. So my four I'm gonna leave alone. The four is what I've always done with my normal attack. 
So my new march that I'll do will be the five. And in this one, I will set Mordred and Guinevere. All right, I will get rid of infantry. I will go very heavy cav. I'll still keep bow. It's kind of a flip from what I did before. So here I'll probably go like 70,000. No infantry. Boost the sky up much higher. Let's put him there. A little bit higher on here. No infantry. All the cav I've got. I definitely don't want any of this garbage down here. The reason that I'm doing this is I want to stay in crit. I want to stay in crit because I have 40% crit. I have over 30% is what you should be looking for. So that's all my troops. So I still have quite a bit more to distribute here. So I think it I wish I had more calf, but I'm gonna go ahead and not that high. Let's say 140. Ah, uh, 150. So I'm going to save that. And actually, I'm going to go down here a little bit. I'm going to go to 130. And again, just kind of top off with calf because the calf stats are so much higher. Even though that calf does less damage, with the, that, with the stat upgrade, I think it will be better. All right, I'm going to save that. And, and actually, I'm going to hedge a little bit more here. What I don't want to do is get too far into diminishing returns because then it won't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest here. So I definitely don't want over six troop types. I have two there, two there, and there's the last two for six total. Um, and actually I'll have to adjust that a little bit on the fly whenever I'm, I'm going or let's see first let's see how far away we are from Gollum so if I go to the event and I kind of appear I'm 35 seconds away that's perfect there's a couple more things I need to do before I get completely started. One, I'll want to get my um, my temporary relics here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a dragon blade, and I'm gonna get a crown of command. I'm gonna put on my crown of command to start. Let's go back, and next I'll want to use there's two skills that i want to use here normally um i may not have the red dragon balls to to do what i want to do here but um normally you'd want to try using that um i'm interested in using the new um the new skill the new pvp skill to see if that would have a, a difference I would need to fill in with red, and I'm not gonna have enough red to uh, to do this, I don't think, and still come out ahead. Uh, I think that's done. Let's go here. All right. I am building this character. I'm continuing on this character, and 
Um, really, my goal is to hit 44 to get T13s before I really shift over and get a lot more stats. So that's why you see my stats are a little bit lower than what you would have expected in the past, where I was always relatively near the top, but not there anymore. Um, but I am focused on 44, and within the next, you know, within the next month or so, I should be able to to knock that out. I've got my barracks done to 43 and I just need to finish out the castle. So I'm almost there. So um, a lot of, of what I do spend on will be um, royal badges from now on. All right, so with that, I want to go ahead, since I'm not gonna be able to use the new PVP skill here, um, which I would love to try and maybe next week I will try. Um, I'm going to use my Colossal March, and then I'm going to go back in and check out my map, my March um, setup. All right, so now I have another 50k to use. Let's see, I'll use some here, and then I'll top off the rest in my Tier 12 Cav, which is what I've got. So a really, really good test here would be to have more um, tier 11 and tier 11 and tier 10 uh, calf. But that's okay. I think we will be good here. So I've done all of that. Now I want to go ahead and get started with my marches. And so a lot of the stuff that I'm doing here, it doesn't really matter what your stats are. Uh, the, the whole setup. It's important, and I have one more thing. One more thing that I forgot to do. Um, I'll need to set up my hero council. Right, I wanna do that swap here as well. I want to go with Sir Gawain. And I'll want to swap it whenever I get started. So I'm gonna go back over here again, again go to my fives and I have a little bit more here to spend save it I want to check out my four real quick just make sure everything is actually being utilized it's not so I want to update here as well okay I want to save that we're good on four and five now now I can get started attack all right so I am going to bring home all my troops first all right we're good to go I'm going to start off with my new, with the new heroes okay I want to make sure that that is uh, 618 is what I'm shooting for so I'm going to go ahead and send the attack. And then immediately you want to go in. Oh my goodness. It's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me a little bit. I want to swap out here, and then I want to swap out here. Go back and close. I should still a few seconds and I do all right so I'm gonna do five attacks with the new so now I want to do my swap again okay. swap back here And then go ahead and swap back over here again. And I'll go ahead and let the music roll through the rest of this. I've 
been up with them feral. Friend, bro, you didn't real kill. Off the liquor and some pill pills. I've been at it since a trip. Sticks and stones may break my bone, but your words can't hurt me. No, you just can't hurt me. No, I ain't been right more than I've been wrong, and it still can't hurt me. No, it just can't hurt me. No. No, you just can't hurt me. No, you just can't hurt me. No, no, no. I know it's hard to be polite and it's easy being petty my mama used to tell me gotta use you when he read man it's crazy how my brother said it could have been my cell it's either prison or a grave that's what everybody tell me man life ain't a beach it's a female dog i'm staying 10 toes down though i still might fall oh yeah now i didn't came through knocking pictures off you walls loving people who persecute you yeah. it's still a so tough be a light up on my path and a lamp under my feet i know my faith strong but my flesh still kind of weak when that victory be looking like the verge of defeat and i feel that disrespect help me turn my other cheek and sex sticks and stones May break my bone, but your words can't hurt me. No, you just can't hurt me. No, I ain't been right more than I've been wrong, and it still can't hurt me. No, it just can't hurt me. No, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, you just can't hurt me. No, you just can't hurt me. No, no, no. Petty. Mama used to tell me, gotta use you when you're ready. Cause I ain't working on my own timing. Ain't got no diamonds on me, but I stay shining. Yeah, yeah. They say the world would be a better place if we take out the hate. Stop all the hate right now. Yeah. Uh, let's keep it real, it'd be better if we just subtract the fake oh, yeah. So be a light up on my path and a lamp under my feet I know my faith strong, but my flesh still kinda weak When that victory be looking like the verge of defeat And I feel that disrespect, help me turn my other cheek and say Sticks and stones may break my bone But your words can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me No, I ain't been right More than I've been wrong And it still can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me. No, no, no. So we're done. Um, this is not the, the best damage I've ever done. Um, this is... Uh, you know, 355, I think I've been around 400 before, 
Let, let's see how it's looking. All right. So let's go ahead and start with the first five. And now I'll, I'll show all the stats here like I normally do. So uh, 38.7, not bad. 37.9, okay. 38.1, okay. 38 and 38. So those are that's my uh, Mordred and Guinevere. So now back to Dendrine. 33, low. 32, super low. 32, low, low, low. 32, low, low, low. And 32, low, low, low. So um, it's obvious the new the new setup with um, you know with the new heroes, Guinevere and Mordred, are a lot more effective as far as damage output than even you know four and five star Dendrain and Brutus. So right now this is the way to go. Obviously from this little test, um, as you can see, I mean I just got Mordred today. And, and maxed out his level, but he's they're still at one star. Um, I don't have him appointed, just a little factoid here. They don't need to be appointed if you send them out. Um, appointing will only give you the stats. So, and their stats are amazing when I'm able to get there. Um, you know, with enough fragments, I will. When you are working on heroes, you can skip. A lot of people didn't know that. So now I would go up until I, the next one would be the troop attack. And then after troop attack, I would do the bow attack. And then I would work my way down to calf health and um, calf defense. And finally, the last one I would do would be bow defense. I would go backwards, although bow defense is zero. So this doesn't cost me anything to do. So I could just do it real quick, right? That's kind of silly. And I've got plenty saved up here um, from doing a lot of barbs and killing monsters every day. Um, but anyway, um, I hope that helps. I'll put the stats up, um, f you know, the the results from each of the attacks and the overall and the percentage, you know, greater. Um, obviously, if you have a higher star, um, Guinevere and Mordred, it, you'll do more damage. Um, if your stats are better, you'll do more damage. And even more importantly, if you have tier 13 um, bow and calf, you'll do a ton more damage than you see me doing here. So that's my focus right now, is to get my um, tier 13 bow and then calf. Um, within the next month or so, I should be pretty darn close to getting those, which is you get it, um, SH44, Stronghold level 44. Um, tier 13 it does a lot more damage and it'll allow me to reset my my marches a little bit and you'll see big output at that point. Um, right now, the reason that I'm leading in this kingdom, I'll show you here real quick is because the people who, with the tier 13 haven't gone yet and I have a little artifact here but um, you know Red Yoda hasn't gone, MKA hasn't gone um, you know they'll definitely pass me on the leaderboard and they'll be over 400 like they normally are so you know this is a temporary even though it's Sunday afternoon and there's only three or four more hours left um, before the end of this event, um, I'm sure they'll come in in the end and, and pass me up here. So, all right. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. You know, I know it was a little, you know, it wasn't as smooth as I would normally do Gollum. And that's because I've been in solar a, a majority of my time lately, um, kind of getting things settled there. Um, although I do uh, KVK, you know, I do show up for KVK here. I didn't do it this week in either kingdom, but that's another story. 
but I hope you guys um, have a great week. And if you do have any questions or if you'd like to see other videos like this, let me know. Um, as I said, you know, I'll be going to tier 13 and I'll be working more on my heroes. And, you know, we have the, the new um, hero weapons. I don't have those for, for um, bow yet or my troop. So I'll be working on those. And I still need to work through and finish out my um, Hellsbane set. Um, so still a ways to go there. You know, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll be putting out two to three videos on Lunar and Solar each week. Um, and, you know, click the like if you like it. Leave me a comment, um, you know, if there's something I missed here, if there's something else you'd like to see. Um, let me know if you'd like me to adjust my march a little bit. Um, let me know, and I'd be happy to accommodate. Take care.